Guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. What's up with it? All right, look, we've been talking a lot about Oliver Anthony a lot lately, and I just want to say, after seeing this story, you know everything he says now is the truth, and you know he really stands behind it. He actually canceled his show because they couldn't get to an agreement with the promoter and the venue about the ticket prices. Wild, wild, that's awesome. That's a man of the people. Let's get into this video, guys, and see what they're talking about. Oliver Anthony has canceled an upcoming show that was scheduled for the beloved Knoxville, Tennessee venue known as Cotton Eye Joe after ticket prices were listed astronomically high from the venue. Anthony released multiple statements surrounding this cancellation. First, here is what Oliver Anthony had to say in a video released onto his Instagram. Here it is. I had to pull off on the side of the road and make this video. I'm, uh, my adrenaline's pumping, man. I'm pissed off right now. And don't buy Cotton Eye Joe tickets for $99 a piece. And sure as hell don't buy VIP passes for whatever bullshit price they're on. Um, I have a buddy of mine who's not a booking agent. He's a friend of mine. He's a full-time plumber. And I'm trying to hire him full-time as my booking agent. And uh, he agreed to the show, I guess, without asking for the, what the ticket prices are. I'm, don't pay $100 for a ticket. That's horseshit. Uh, if we've got to cancel the venue and play somewhere else, we will. Uh, I didn't agree to it, and I don't want you to pay it. So please don't. Just I'm just trying to get the word out now. It's, I, I don't know when the event got posted, but just hold off for a little bit. Now, around the same time that he released that video onto his Instagram, Oliver Anthony also turned to Facebook where he ultimately canceled the show. He wrote, Cotton Eye Joe has been canceled. Ultimately, it's my fault for not being more directly involved with the venues who have reached out. My plate has been full and I delegated the responsibility to someone else to help me book. I am not pointing fingers at Cotton Eyed Joe. I don't know where the miscommunication took place. I'm just upset seeing those prices. We will find another place in Knoxville area that can do $25 a ticket and free meat. Wow. Food. I will work to get your tickets refunded from my own budget if they can't. This will never happen again. Thanks for your patience. I am still learning how all of this works. Now, I just want to go on and note again uh, what Oliver Anthony stated in that statement there. He said he would refund the fans from his, from own, his budget own budget if the venue was unable to. That is... That is how it is done right there. And again, this was all sparked due to the very high listed ticket prices from the venue, which I think we can all agree concerts have gotten a bit ridiculous anymore. And they have. It's just nice to see that Oliver Anthony is standing up against those high ticket prices. Now, here's another interesting. That's point. amazing that that actually happened, that he actually stood up and said, look, I'll refund you. If they won't refund it, I'll take money out of my own budget and refund it. He's using a guy that he knows, his friend, as his booking agent. That, that, that story is just so great. How many artists do you know are not going to hit you over the head for some tickets? 25 bucks he wants to charge with free meet and greet. The line's going to be, first of all, astronomical. The line's going to be out the door, down the street, around the corner, around the next corner. Got that police. He's got to be shaking hands and taking pictures until 5 in the morning after the 9 o'clock show ends. But I think that that is amazing. That is the way to do it if you're a true man of the people. He's standing up to his word. Let's see what the venue's got to say. It looks like Cotton Eye Joe, the venue's got a little something to say. But uh, let's see what's going on. Peace to all this. Cotton Eye Joe also released a statement on the situation and also slammed Oliver Anthony for the cancellation of the show. Cotton Eye Joe's statement onto their Facebook reads, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for the customers of the world famous Cotton Eye Joe. Most times we say a show has been canceled due to circumstances beyond our control. Well, we are canceling the Oliver Anthony show under our full control. All refunds will be made in the next few business days to your original form of payment. The North Man of Richmond contracted to play the Cotton Eye Joe for $120,000 for 60 minutes. After doing the math and knowing we can only hold approximately 1,500 people, paying the ticket website their fee to sell the tickets, paying the tax man, opening the Joe on a closed night, we set the ticket price to break even and bring our customers a show we thought would be fun. 
to our talent agency and promoter friends that follow us. Be careful booking the Northman of Richmond. Wow, so Oliver Anthony there saying he does not point fingers, but uh, the venue had no problem uh, doing it themselves. So guys, of course, we would love to know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. And as always, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. Come on, who you believe in? I want to know who you believe in on this one, guys, because I'm believing Oliver Anthony on this one. I don't know if, 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 if he's paid the money. I don't understand why he would why he would cancel unless he really felt like the ticket prices were a problem. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds to me that the venue's just mad because they're not getting their cut because they're talking about break even. Basically, they're holding a free show. So why would they be mad if they're holding a free show? Because they weren't getting any money anyway. So canceling it is not going to change anything because they just refund all the money back. What's the problem? You guys let me know. If you guys let me know where, where you see the differences. I, on this one, I'm having to side with artists because that's just where it makes sense to me. But I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave them down there. Let's talk about Oliver Anthony. Of course, the man made the, the rich man north of Richmond, and he's got the 90-something Chevy, and he's got some other songs on his channel that we've been reacting to. They're also on this channel. And, and they've been good. They've been really good music. Music that I could see played in a venue, acapella style, maybe with a band. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could go about it, but I would pay to see, honestly. I would pay to see that, that concert, and I would be excited to see that concert. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Who, who are we siding with here? Are we siding with, with the venue? Are we siding with Oliver? I mean, they couldn't come to an agreement. Just something seems a little fishy. Okay, something seems a little fishy, and I hope that the rest of the story comes out and we get to, get to the bottom of what's happening here with the man. Okay, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Let's do this again sometime. I'll see you next time here on Justin TV.